Grace reporting for GTV. We're now at the epicentre of the media coverage. Hello and welcome. I'm here with Kate today. I am at one of the knitting stalls with the very lovely Charlie. Sit back, put on the kettle and enjoy this week's show. This is the Freshers Ball 2010. Have a gander at what's coming up on today's show. What do you think of the location for tonight's debate? What is this place? Quite literally, the campus has been taken over. Yeah, at this point, I'd like to quote Gandhi. I'm here with the sexually inspiring, I'm going to say. Oh, nice. well, yeah. Probably the best introduction I've ever had. Tumbleweed. This is the serious Tumbleweed. And now you join us at the most thrilling part of the Freshers Ball 2010, the cloak room. How many pints of beer have you consumed this week? As Michael Jackson once said. Debauchery or STIs. Freshers week, it's by law, you have to kiss loads of really ugly boys. So have you been doing so? No ugly ones. All right. I don't think it's well. It's time. like I should be working today. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing, and they're celebrating their first week at the University of Birmingham. A wise man once said, "The course of true love never differs." And boy, was he right. From a man's point of view, do you think he's attractive? Oh, yeah, I would. And um, thank you very much for signing me there for the news. I'm sure you'd be pleased to hear that, definitely. He's worked with Kanye West, Tiny Temper, Dizzy Rascal. You're also looking really. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very um, much. Who are you wearing? Who am I wearing? Oh, I'm wearing All High Street. We're now standing in front of the stage in the main auditorium. So they're about 100 metres away from me, which is pretty exciting. Your young brother. Brother. So you just, you just see my eyes going. You've I can see. That brother. <laughs> we asked a very important question. Are you Birmingham's best swisher? I've met a few people in my time, probably most notably Mr. Dan Brown. Yeah, quite like that. It's a bit Yorkshire, innit? Yeah, basically I got picked from the audience and was asked to come on stage and he ties me up. <laughs> if he is a murderer, then we've got to take him. Very, very few people. Do you want me to do it? My flu and my man voice can't hold us back from the fashion event of the year. We've had coach loads of people with police escorts. Potentially, uh, we're thinking the selected audience who will be asking the questions. I think what's interesting about this debate is none of the parties are specifically targeted to the students. Depression. Just the word alone makes the average person want to look away. But with one in four people experiencing a mental health problem during their lifetime, the issue is all around us. Do you think they actually care about students or do you think they're just trying to last minute get a few more votes? I think you may have caught on to what's going on. Why is there still such a taboo? Is society's view that only crazy people suffer with them correct? Or do normal people suffer with them too? Do you think religion is relevant in your typical student lifestyle? Ultimately, depression is an illness. It's not a part of who you are as a person. Don't call me that! What, you asked me to call you that? This is your fault, Mitch! This is, this is all you! I think a lot of people forget sort of the underlying issues that it is for charity. It's not just the music. Like the famous people like Stephen Fry, yeah. um, Really whack. It's not quite as famous, but still. <laughs> One day, <laughs> I'll come back with like a knitted outfit, and you'll be like, "Oh my god, how fit were those models?" Oh, oh no, absolutely. I've been uh, oiling them all down backstage. <laughs> Can we um, ask you uh, who your questions are? You certainly can't. <laughs> <laughs> One last request. Will you touch me? <laughs> You smell so good as well. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Merry Christmas from Birmingham.